Hi, I'm Kendall Young, Telus Properties, and I'm here to answer the pressing question, where is the Glendale real estate market going? Well, in order to answer that question, we first need to talk about where we are. We have no homes for the buyers to buy. There are just 145 homes currently for sale in the city of Glendale. That's 145 homes for a city with 200,000 residents. Yikes! Buyers, I feel bad for you. Every news organization in the world is telling you that you should be sitting in the catbird seat, and yet all you see are crappy houses and multiple offers. On top of this, you have to listen to all the smug bastards who just have to tell you about the great deal that their friend just scooped up. Newsflash, some of them are lying, just saying. One out of every three open escrows falls apart before it ever gets to closing. And of those that do stick around, they take two to three times longer to get to the closing. That's a lot of drama and stress for everyone, but arguably, it's harder on the seller. Why all the drama? Well, deals are just really complicated today. Problems can be pretty much categorized into two distinct camps. There are the lender problems, and that includes everything around the appraisal, and then there are the people problems. Lender problems have been well documented. Short sales take a long time to close. Appraisals are missing their mark. The banks seem to take a monkey's age to get anything done. And the people problems? Oi. Well, let's just say that people are stretched very thin. One little bump of the road and it is a national disaster. People running around with their underwears knotted up in one great big old twist. Lots of drama and high emotion make deals fall apart. There are big differences between the super luxury homes and your basic starter homes, so let's break things down into segments. There is nearly one buyer for every single home that's on the market, and that makes it very difficult for a buyer who wants to buy in this price segment. Worst news? Many of the buyers that are out there are investors that are running around with bags full of money. These sales are the hardest to close. In fact, 42% of these sales were short sales. And when you add to that the foreclosures, we're looking at 66% of this segment were a distress sale of some sort. Surprisingly, with so little inventory and such high demand, prices are nearly flat. It looks like there's a lot of homes for sale in this price segment, but look again. Most of these homes are overpriced and stale. Days on market is skyrocketing as buyers take a pass on these overpriced turkeys as they wait for new opportunities to pounce upon. Prices are declining, but just slightly. This is our sweet spot segment. Everything is up. Inventory, contracts, closing, even prices seem to be edging up in this price segment. Every month, we sell two to three of these splashier homes. However, we have 27 of these homes on the market. Not good odds for getting sold, is it? Not that many people with over a million smackaroos to spend are willing to spend it in our fair city. Except for Kim Kardashian. She wants to buy a house here so that she can run for mayor in Glendale. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you need to buy or sell today or miss your window. Let me ask you a question. Do you need to buy or sell? Can you afford to do that today? Then do it. Because tomorrow...